Hey everybody, welcome back to my channel. It's Ebby with Ebby Reviews, and this is going to be my review and recap of Chasing Dallas Season 3, Episode 3. Last we left off, the drama was just starting to ensue. People were just starting to put their foot in their mouths and get cussed out. So let's jump into it and see what we got going on. Okay. Okay, so Ariel is still mad. Um, okay, so the, the, the thing is, is that Markel, she said Markel is going around telling people don't trust her because she runs them out. She's going back and forth. She's keeping a lot of shit up. Um, and, um, Ariel is like, listen, don't do that. Don't do that to me. You know, child, this is what took me though. When she said, I will, I will do daughter said, don't be the reason. Don't be the reason. Uh, but however, I listen because I love Ariel. Um, I do. I would like to play devil's advocate for a second. And say, beloved baby, you do tend to carry you, you, you might, you are the messy best friend in this situation. Um, we love you. And I don't think it's all the time that it's intentional or like you doing it on purpose to be mean, but that's just your personality. You tend to carry a lot of bones, beloved, in this instance. So not that you shouldn't be trusted or that you can't be trusted or none of that. I don't think any of those things are true. Um, I just think that you have to know who people are and you have very, been very clear about who it is that you are and what it is that you're going to do. So people need to govern themselves accordingly. Oh, I don't, I don't want, I'm not saying this to make her upset or to say, oh, Markel is right. Did you do an X, Y, and Z? No, that's not what I'm saying. I'm saying that, um, based off what we've seen on this show which does not give us the 360 of who you are but based just solely what we got on this show with if that's what we going by it does tend to seem like you carry a lot of bones and you you say and you said yourself last season oh i like mess so um you're our messy best friend and you just have to know you just have to know how to move and what to say and how to say uh if you don't want it to be repeated don't say it now i'm not a person that it, it don't matter to me because if i say it to ariel i can say it to your face and i'll say it to your face with an attitude and then they, what you gonna do hey yeah i said it now what i feel like i'll be tiptoeing because i don't listen i love everybody i don't want to be stepping on nobody's toes or making them feel any kind of way Next up on topic, uh, Baby Boy is, is opening his gifts. Trey Howard is opening his gifts. Um, we saw the crock pot that he was given by Reese, which I thought was thoughtful and appropriate, uh, being that he talked to his significant other and asked to give him to get a good gauge, a good idea of what would be most appreciated, which most people do not do. They buy what they want you to have. And that just be what it is so for the people at the party who had an issue with him getting a crock pot okay so a lot a lot just happened so we're at booty street food where ariel is performing um Reese g trey howard dior come to see her and somebody else a friend of them um comes to see them perform miss ariel gets out there and she does the damn thing she's flipping her hair back and everything else the wind is blowing just right giving her very beyonce vibes and i'm here for it every single minute of it um we then go to um they're sitting down they're having a conversation there was i don't know how there got to be confusion about the gift that Reese sent to George and how it the Tiffany flute glasses George thought was from somebody else but Reese said there was a handwritten note with his name at the bottom so how did you think the glasses were for somebody else and it was just I, I don't know what that is they also tried to discuss okay. so they're trying to 
mend the situation between Trey Howard and Reese. Reese is like, there is no situation to be mended. I fuck that girl. I like, I don't understand what the issue is. They tried, Trey Howard tried to get KRD on FaceTime. Reese G hung up. Um, apparently, I don't know what Reese did to Carrie D. It seemed very, it seemed very out of left field. We never got the backstory on what was the deterioration of whatever was happening between Reese and Carrie D. I just know at one minute they were okay. And then the next minute at the reunion, Carrie D had an attitude and an issue with Reese. And I, and I never actually understood or got why. So... Um, Trey Howard is going to try and facilitate the, an olive branch thing happening to try and mend that situation. Reese is having an event called a lemon squeeze. He's hiring a chef. Everybody's going to be invited. Whoever comes, comes. We'll okay. see. So um, we, we are now at Amani Van Sam's assessment for the week. Um, it was an assessment. It was definitely an assessment. Um, she's not going hard to ooh, shoot. She's not going too hard just yet um, on people. Um, she did give George a little bit of the business, Markel and um, Carrie D. It seems like the assessment was not in favor of anybody who had an issue with Reese. I don't know if that's a bias from her being super friendly with Reese or what but it kind of came off that way even if she even if that was not um the intention but she said what she said so there is that um also I thought it, the little lemon squeeze invite was super cute the little video invite that Reese sent to Ariel that we saw. I thought that was really cute. Um, it's going to be all, all... The food is cannabis infused. They're, he's hiring a chef. Seems like it's going to be a real cute event. He said he's inviting everybody. So we will see what happens. Okay. So let me just say this. Let's start the, here. I am not above pettiness. I'm not above being a petty bitch because I got petty running through my veins just like anybody else. But for somebody who you did not invite to your birthday party to not to send a gift, a thoughtful, expensive gift at that. And for you to, I know your mama raised you better than that. George I know I know I know she did because that didn't just come off that didn't come off as just you petty catty you know fun shade type of situation it came off as nasty and rude is what it is that's that's how it looks from here but it's whatever you do whatever with your gifts it's whatever but you the, the way you handled it was not cute and I love you, and I I know I know you, <laughs> I know you know better than this, because this is this is not coming off real cute for you. And now you finna get carried together about what he had to say, and Markel tell we, mm, okay, okay. So they're trying to get to the bottom of what happened, even though they were there, and. George was like, I don't know, one second. She was like, pussy ass, hold this, pussy ass, nigga this. Harry D said he was drunk. He don't remember what he said. Uh, I don't know how. The word bone collector is getting thrown around. And Markel said he never called her a bone collector. So he doesn't understand how that was introduced into the conversation. And then that was the end of the scene. <laughs> that made, okay. Oh, oh Okay. So, uh, oh, I don't like this. So, Carrie D gets his invitation to Reese's Lemon Squeeze situation. How you gonna invite somebody while simultaneously shitting on their music at the same time? Like, I don't. Why, 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 why is the real question? Why? Why even invite him if you just gonna act like that? Why even invite him? <laughs> Carrie D, I love you. Because that response was funny to me. Carrie D said, 
because not only did he read down the boy's music, he also was like, go to Trey Howard and get a look for this event because I know your fashions don't be given what they're supposed to have gave. And Carrie D was like, well, listen here, I'm not the only one who's fashionably challenged. You know, if I need to go see Trey Howard, I think you need to come with me to toddle on down there so he can fix us both up. Okay, I'm, listen, I'm not even mad at it. So, George and Markel get their invitations. It's full, just like Carrie D's, it's completely full of shade. Reese, I love you, but in order to be somebody's friend, you must first show yourself to be friendly. Then you can't extend the olive branch while stabbing somebody in the kidney at the same time, beloved. It's just never going to work. That's never going to be the right answer. I love you, but no. Um, Joy, like, if this is what the season is going to be about, I may have to opt out because I don't want to continue to do. I like it's the energy is ugh. the energy is real shitty coming from from all sides i don't even have a good person to pick it from right or wrong in this situation because it's two wrongs fighting to be wronger with each other that's it that's all i got i don't know that's how the episode ended i um i'm ready do something different do something else this this continuous shade of each other and being so nasty so nice nasty and rude it's it's not i don't it's not my judge i don't like it I don't like it. Y'all jump in the comments. Y'all tell me if I'm tripping. Maybe I'm maybe I'm being a party pooper. Maybe I'm hormonal and old and, and I'm just not getting it. But y'all let me know if y'all is this that's too much. Okay. Like, comment, and subscribe. Tell them once again. Like, comment, and subscribe. Tell a friend, tell a kid. I'll catch you on the next one.